Alright, so in today's video, we're just going to get right into it because I know a lot of people watching this video are just going to want to get straight to the commands. So today we are going over the slash scoreboard command and we're going to use the three subcommands and we're going to split the video up based on those subcommands. So there are going to be times on the screen right now and those are going to be the three different subcommands and I'm going to be going over them and telling them telling you what each of them do so you can skip around if you want feel free let's get into the video so first of all we're going to go over the scoreboard objectives subcommand and there's add list remove and set display so we're going to add an objective and we're just going to name it test and there are a lot of different objectives that you can use like see if I hit tab to pull up a list of all of them this is not even all of them and it made me lag so a lot of the a lot of popular ones is death count there is also health Um, there is also, um, total kill count, or if you want to get really crazy, you can do team kill, and then the type of team, which we're gonna get in how you can do those teams, in the team section of the video. And so, so then there is also the stat dot mine block, and then it's gonna be dot Minecraft dot, and then the block ID. So say we want to do wool, wool, and then I guess we're not able to do a data tag on that. We might be able to though. Or say we want to do diamond ore. So say we do that, now it's going to be counting that. So if I say, I'm going to skip around because a lot of people are, are going to want to use the sit display command. And that is so you can do below name so if you're on a multiplayer server the other people are going to be able to see it below your name there's also lists so that's going to be the tab list so when you hit tab the player list comes on although this is as far as i know the only way to get the tab list in a single player world like i'm in now there's also sidebar so it's going to be in this sidebar right there there's also sidebar, a sidebar for only certain teams, which, like I said, is going to be in the team section of the video. And so we're just going to put it in the list for now. And then it's going to go to test, which is the name of our, of our um, objective. So now you can see it says zero in the tab list. So if I were to go grab a diamond ore, you can see, okay, that's probably because I'm in creative mode. So I'm just going to grab a diamond pickaxe, and then go into game mode zero, place this down, and then there we go. As you can see, now it is set to one, so it will be tracking that. And then, so that's the way you're going to do that. And also we can move it around. So if we want to go to scoreboard objectives, oops, set display, say, into the sidebar. Now it's in the sidebar. And you see that is going to be test. But then when you create a scoreboard, so if you go to add whatever like 
we're gonna say help, I don't know. And then we're gonna do our health. And then you can change that to something different. So after that, that is going to be the, the display name. So if we do that, and then set that to this to the sidebar, and then we set it to help, you're gonna see, oh yeah, so with your health, you always have to update it, so if I just build up here, and then set myself to game mode 0, now that's gonna update it, so now my health is in the tab list, so if we go up, and we take some fall damage, it's going to show that as health points, so obviously you have 20 of them. And then you can also do that with your hunger. So if we set, I don't know, you can also do hunger, hunger, maybe? I think it's actually tagged as food, yeah. Oh, and you can see that now the display name is health. So now we are going to... So now there is also list. So it's going to show... So it's, it's going to show there's health. Displays as health. And is type health so it's going to show the health and then it's going to be and then there's test and help too and then if you want to clear the tab and in the sidebar and all of that you're going to go to set display and then just say the list and then it's going to clear it so now I'm hitting tab and that's happening because there isn't anything in the tab. I'm talking a lot faster than I normally do. And then there's also scoreboard objectives remove, so you can remove something. And then like I said, there is set display, which you guys know what that is. So now we are going to skip on to scoreboard players. So with scoreboard players, there's a lot more. There's add, enable, list, operation, remove, reset, set, tag, and test. So scoreboard players test. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that does, but scoreboard players add. Cheese YT. I think. Oh yeah, so that's going to add something to your current count. So say if I set, um, we're going to set test, so that's our mind block diamond ore. So we can add something to that, so we set it as test, and then say if we add 2 to it, now it's going to be 3. And then you can also enable, which I'm not actually too sure what that does. So we're just going to skip that. And then we're going to list. So it's going to show us what, it, what our player has on that certain scoreboard, or on that objective. And then we're going to go to operation, which is going to, honestly, I have no idea what this does. I think a number is supposed to be in here, if I'm correct, but honestly, I have no idea. Wait, so use scoreboard player's operation. Target name, target objective, operation selector objective. Okay, I'm just going to move on. Um, yeah, I really don't know. And then you can, this is pretty self-explanatory. You can remove 
some things. Oh, hmm. scoreboard players. And then we're gonna go to reset, so it's gonna reset that, so now I'm at zero. And then we're gonna go to set, so it's just gonna set what we have, so if we set it to six, now it's gonna be six. And then if I say added, you know, seven. Oh. Yes, yeah, so now it's gonna be thirteen. Um then if we set it it's just gonna set it to whatever to whatever number we have. Nothing more, nothing less. So then we have oh, tag, which I think is, I don't know, we're going to add, and, okay, add remove list. Tag name. Okay, wait, so we're gonna say help. Is that like. Oh, maybe it adds it. I really don't quite know what that does. And sorry for not knowing what all of this does, but as far as I know, as far as this tutorial goes, you're not gonna be able to need to use that because I've been using these for quite a while now and and I have it has been just fine and I haven't run into any problems with that so now on to the next part which is teams so now that we're at teams this is where it kind of gets fun so we're gonna add a team name so say cheese and then that's all that's there. You just add a team. And now there's empty, which I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's going to empty all of the players. And then you can join a player to that team. Alright. And then you are going, you can also... make a player leave leave from their current teams so you can do that and then you can also do um you can also do list so i'm just gonna add Teams add. Over teams. Oh yeah, I need to join. Oops. Uh, join cheese. See, sometimes you can get those confused. And then you can go to option, where this is really nice, so you can turn um collision off so you're not so you can always collide with people you can never collide with people you can push only other teams or you can push only your own team so that's really useful if you're doing like parkour or something and then there's also color where that's how you're gonna set like the team kill thing or the only in tab for this team so we're gonna set it to yellow and then you can also do death message visibility so it's always hide for other teams hide for your own team or never 
so that could be useful for maybe like a UHC or something. I don't know. And then friendly fire, very useful if you're trying to, I don't know, recreate Sky Wars or something like that. Um, name tag visibility, that's very useful, although I have seen that it hasn't really been working. But I really don't know. See friendly invisibles. Pretty useful. And then back to the collision rule. So that's everything there. And then you can just completely remove a team. So that is the end of this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. I had a decent amount of fun making it. I mean, again, I was just talking into a mic the whole time. But I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And I'll see you guys in another Minecraft.